Hi crypto fans, welcome to CCS Cryptocurrency State. My name is Santiago, I'm a web developer and investor. And in today's video, I'm going to do a Bitcoin technical analysis video, but like you never saw before. I'm going to explain you exactly what is happening in a daily, in a weekly and in a monthly time frame, all the major indicators and also how I read those indicators and what we can expect on the daily, weekly and monthly. Also, I will answer you if the bottom is already in. So behind this is the answer for that question and I will show you at some point of the video. And also I want to mention that I have been doing some trades and I have been posting that in Twitter. So I can tell you exactly what I have been doing. And if you follow me in Twitter, you can do the trades with me. And like I said, this TA of today is something that you never saw. So please watch the video and put your comments below if you like it. This is a complete TA of Bitcoin because you don't need to do TA every day in order to understand the possibilities of the market. Before we begin, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications and without anything else, let's go into it. Hey guys, well, like I say, this is a video like you never saw before. I have not been doing a TA video from a long time, so I wanted to share my thoughts on Bitcoin during this bear market and this moment. Bitcoin is claiming right now is at $21,200 and has been a little of pump during the day today. So we are going to cover also that. We are going to start with the monthly time frame. You need to know that the analysis of the Bitcoin price needs to be done in all the time frames or at least in the major time frames to know what will happen in a big picture. I am not a daily trader. You need at least 10 years of experience to be a daily trader. I prefer to trade big moves or at least a couple of weeks or even months moves. So I do some scalping trading that you can follow me in Twitter to know exactly what I am doing. But my best trades are always in the daily, weekly or monthly time frame after analyzing those time frames. So the daily time frame, of course, it will be more volatile. The volatility of the price, it will modify what the indicators are saying. And once you have some analysis on the daily, you can see that this, it will influence the weekly time frame. And the weekly time frame, it will influence the monthly time frame. So like it's obvious for many people, smaller time frames, there are more false sign, sign indications. If you analyze in a bigger time frame, you have more accurate information and you can speculate and you can see more the statistics and possibilities to make a good trade. And you can have more actual information about the risk or reward ratio for your trades. So let's start with the monthly time frame. This is a plain chart. This is a BLX. So we are taking all the information from Bitcoin from 2010 actually. And in a simple side, you can see that this has been super healthy. You have one, two, three, and four peaks of a bull run peaks. And you have one, two, three, and we are in this four bear market. So in a simple side, you can see this chart and say, this is not looking especially bad like the previous bear markets. If we check a little bit of the information of the chart, I am assuming that you never heard in any other YouTube analysis that the RSI is one of the important indicators that you need to see. And in the monthly time frame, you can see this line of support during the bear market of December 2014 and the bear market of December 2018. Well, this is a bad news, but in this bear market, we broke this support area to the downside. You can see here in July, we hit it as resistance and now we are back down again. So let me zoom a little bit so it's super clear, clear for you. So previous support is now resistance. This is a very bearish indication on the monthly time frame that you can see here. In a general terms, looks healthy like other bear markets, but we need to go back to the 44 points on support on the RSI. Where is the 44 points? You can put here on the RSI. We, this is the 44.21 points on the RSI. We need to get back and get support from that. If not, then the RSI, we are steering a bearish RSI trend. So that is something that you need to consider. Super bearish indicator on the monthly RSI. 
Of course, you need like six to one year in order to know exactly what will happen here. But at this point, this is bearish. We enter this bearish RSI on June. If you see the stochastic RSI, this is our momentum indicator, one of the momentum indicators that we use. You can see all the bear markets, super healthy. We hang out here like many, many days, even years, below the 20 point of the RSI. We did it again here and right now we are here again. So this is, looks super healthy in terms of a bear market. So what could happen right now if we zoom here? You can see that the blue line is above the red line. So usually that means a bullish trend. We are already near the bottom. But if we have some bearish trend here, we still have again from the point 0.3 to the point 0.0 here where we were before to have some more downtrend here. And you can see in the preview bear markets, we hang out and we cross it more than one time, always during the period of the bear market below the 20 points. So right now the stochastic RSI is bearish, but it will be super bearish if our stochastic RSI, it will be up here, because that will mean that we have like a lot of room to go to the downside. But that is not the case. We are healthy in that terms with the previous bear market. So that is also something to consider. If we cross up the 20 points in a bullish trend, you, you can see it here, usually it will happen when we really are out of the bear market, then that will be fireworks and we can expect uh, another one, two, three years of bull run until a new peak. Like you can see in my video, I am expecting the next bull run peak in 2025. You can check the video here. I do a very interesting analysis that I never saw in YouTube about the next bull run. And why I'm saying that this is the opportunity to buy and get rich in 2025. Check that video. It's really, really important TA if you like this video. Going back here, the money flow index really is also following some trends like the RSI. We are bearish also here. And another thing to mention in the monthly, lastly, is the MACD. You can see the MACD is like completely overextended here on the histographic. We are not losing bearish momentum yet, but I really wonder how much low can the MACD go. The MACD is a lagging indicator, so the prices will start to recover. We may be in $30,000 and you will see, see maybe the MACD with a light red and you will say, well, how is that? We did like $10,000 in profit already from this point, but the MACD is still red. That is because it's a lagging indicator but how much lagging indication we could have of a bearishness here. So from my perspective, I think we soon in the next month, we are going to start to see a red light color here starting to play out. That doesn't mean that the bear market is over. That means that we could still have six months more of bear market, but the uh, MACD is already super overextended from my perspective in this monthly time frame, right? So these are the first indications on the monthly. The MACD is super bearish extending. I am really wondering how much can go lower. So I am seeing this, I am translating this as a bullish sign because I really don't see too much expectation to go down on that, on that MACD histographic. The important thing of here, you can see this and say, well, I just copy this sprite sheet and see and know how the TA is. But checking data in the indicators doesn't make you a trader. The trader is how you interpret of all this information. A good trader will have confluence from the different time frames and get a conclusion on what to do based on risk and reward ratios. But the important thing, a good trader is someone that analyzes the data in a correct way. So on the monthly, I can see that the RSI is what is worrying me too much. This is my big concern in terms of the monthly time frame. The rest, for me, we are in a healthy bear market. Even if we are low on price action and you may be super worried, for me, in a big picture, I am seeing super healthy bear market for now. If you're liking this video so far, click, click the icon below me. This is the icon of the channel and you can subscribe directly, click in there so you don't miss any of these big TA analysis that I do. Seeing this video, you are already up to for September. You don't need to see anything else for this month. You will have all the information on what Bitcoin could do. So let's go to the weekly time frame. 
In a weekly time frame, still in the BLX, we don't see so much healthy. Right now we can see some bearish stuff that I will put here. So in terms of moving average, we are below all the important moving average, which are the 21, the 50, 100 and 200. The most common moving average that people talk about is the 200 because was support on the previous two bear markets that we have here. In the bear market of 2021, we didn't have enough data to know where this indicator will be, but the triple, the moving average of the 200 or 210, some people put, acted as support here, acted as support here. In terms of body candles, acted as support here in the COVID crash. And here we are below the 200. We never experienced this price action with the 200 weekly. So this is really concern. We come back here, but only in two, three candles and we are below right now. And we are below not just for $10, but we are below like $2,000. So we really need to come back and test the support of the 200. That is really important for any trader that will be checking the 200 moving average. It's, so we are still below the 200 moving average and this is super bearish still. So yeah, until the weekly is not above the 200, I will be bearish on this time frame. That is for sure. But one thing that I want to show you here, and I shall remove it, the 200 weekly and just keep it the 50 and the 100 moving average. So this is a very important moving average. And I want to put something here in consideration that you will tell me in the comments, but no YouTuber is talking about this. When we see the previous bear market, and I am not counting the COVID crash here because we can discuss if it was in bear market or not, but this moving average didn't cross it down the 100. I want to see when the red one crosses the yellow one. That means when the 50 moving average cross the 100 moving average. I put here the three lines here in this because right now we are crossing that. If you see the previous bear market 2015, we can see two things. One is that we, when we cross it down, we were almost in the middle of the bear market, almost. I measured the days and of course, not all the bear markets during the same amount of time, but in proportion and an average, we could say that we are in the middle of the bear market. So that is something to consider. We have here clearly two previous data points and this is not something that happens every year. This only happened before two years in 10, 12 years of history of Bitcoin charts. So you can see this is not really common and just happened here on the chart this week. You can see that we are just crossing there today. So the one thing is that this could mean that we are around the middle of the bear market. So that will give you a good indication that where, where we are. And the second thing important here to consider is each time that we cross it down here, of course, this is bearish. The bottom of the bear market was already in. So when we cross it here, you can see previously here in July, the bottom was there. We cross it here and the bottom was already here in January 2015. So according with this, this indicator, if we take only the history, we could say that the $70,000 was our bottom because right now we are crossing on those moving average, important moving average on the weekly time frame calling that we may be around the middle of the bear market and the bottom was already here. So this is one of the things that we could say that the bottom is already in the Bitcoin price action. So put your comments below if you saw any other YouTuber talking about these two moving averaging crosses in the weekly. And if you found another YouTuber talking about the theory of the 50 and 100 moving average in the weekly, calling that the bottom was already in and calling that we are in the middle of the bear market, I will give you $1,000 in any crypto of ADA, Ripple or Bitcoin or USDC. So put your comments below if you see this in another YouTuber analysis, I will give you $1,000 in crypto. And if you are liking this video so far, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications. So to finalize the weekly, we have the 50 MAI crossing bearish the 100 moving averaging. In the past, each time this happened was in the middle of the bear market, around the middle in average, and the bottom was already in. We are checking the VLX right now. And the other thing is that we are still below on the 200, so this is super bearish. 
If we see the major indicators here, you can see the RSI is going up here, pointing up. The stochastic RSI also is here almost to cross up here. So these are slightly bullish in terms of price action. The same with the MACD right now is bullish here slightly. But you can see that there's a slightly movement starting to be bullish on the weekly time frame. On this RSI, stochastic RSI, money flow index and the MACD. TD sequential, the alligator, the Gaussian channel, the four exponential moving average, we still are bearish on this. We need to see more bullishness on the daily time frame in order to affect the time frame of the weekly. So we still need more time to call that we are bullish on the weekly, but we can see starting to see some indications of that. And remember that the Gaussian channel is really important on the weekly time frame. We are calling these zones, the golden zones, shout out to Crypto Crew University channel. He's one of the best uh, analysts, YouTuber analysts on the crypto market right now. And like he said, each time that we are below the Gaussian channel, I will call the weekly time frame. He always called the five day time frame. But for me, if I am below the weekly time frame on the Gaussian channel indicator that you can search here on the indicators are free. You can see that these usually are the best opportunities to buy Bitcoin and crypto in general. And right now we are really below on the Ocean channel. So I really think we could see, we could be like in the middle of the bar market right now. So all these levels, no matter if Bitcoin is at 19, 18 or 22, the, these are great opportunities to buy crypto. And if you are following me and you know what altcoins I am buying, you can see the video here. You will know that I am buying altcoins that are 10x below the all time high. And that is part of my theory and my strategy. So if altcoins right now are 10x below the all time high, and I am expecting at least going back to the all time high before the next peak of the bull run. So you can do really do 10x's from many of the altcoins right now if you buy at this level. This is a golden zone for sure. Remember, if this change to green, That will mean that we are already above the Gaussian channel always here, here and here. And that will be like a super opportunity to buy more crypto because usually that means that we have like months and years ahead from a bull run. So now let's move to the daily time frame. So daily time frame is of course more volatility change more from time to time. So we are going to cover that now. The first thing is this triple moving average 250 and 100 like we check with the weekly. Right now you can see that we are really, really low of the 200 daily moving average. This is at $30,000. So we are super bearish on that. All the bullish and bull market, we are above the 200 daily moving average. So we cannot expect the bull run right now. We are like in the middle of the bear market. But you can see here that we have two moving average in confluence here at this level, the $22,000. This is the 50 of the 100. And I didn't saw any analysts calling this, but this will be or should be at least a very big point of resistance on the daily chart. You can see these two lines. These are the 50 and the 100 moving average on the daily. You can see today Bitcoin is pumping like a lot. But I really expect a lot of resistance here at $22,000 around that level. I don't think we are going to go up that level right now, not for sure, because you can see this is the lower band of this ascending wedge, which break to the downside here. And so this will back as resistance. And we have the confluence here of the 50 and 100 daily moving average in here. So in order to we go above that first, we need to go about 21,400 because we have confluence here on the BRBP. And after that, we have more confluence here at 23. So above the 100. So all this time frame is actually a lot of resistance. If we get support about $24,000, that will be like super amazing for Bitcoin. And we could rally to $30,000, which are the previous resistance points. We don't have too much resistance from here to here. So this is a 50% that we can easily do. But in order to get to that level, to the $24,000, we have like a lot of resistance. And in order to tell you that, please follow me on Twitter at CryptoSystate. 
because there you will be doing that trade. Like I can, you can see this in this Twitter. I previously commented, we, we were looking this descending channel. This was actually in the one hour chart where I show you this kind of trades. And then we broke to the downside here. This was a textbook descending channel. You can see all the points here of support, 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 support. When we break it, I call it for the short position there. And we hit it almost the target, which was at this level. And at that point in the one hour time frame, we were like completely overextended. We were at $18,900. And I told you guys, it's time to reverse now. We need to put some long positions right now. We need to take our profits from this short. We are completely overextended in the one hour, four hour time frames. So I really don't see any signs that we can continue going below a size 8,500. We kind of went into those levels. And you can see in the chart right now that from there, 8,700, we already did like two, three thousand dollars on profits in this long position that I have still open. I took a, already a 50% profit from that trade, but still the other 50% is open and I planning to close it really soon. So follow me at Crypto C State, Crypto C State, so you can get my trade alerts there in Twitter and more information about different projects, crypto news and my videos. So in terms of the daily time frame, we are below the most important moving average. Like I mentioned, a lot of resistance from this two at 22. Uh, we are above the 21, but that is not mega bullish. We are bullish on the RSI, Stochastic RSI, Money Flow Index, MACD. We are bullish on those indicators. Like you can see the RSI is pumping like crazy, Stochastic RSI pumping like crazy, Money Flow Index AXO, and the MACD also crossing bullish here. And they are pumping big, they are not just starting to cross. And we have room on all these indicators to continue going up. So my expectation, $22,000 big resistance, that is in the daily time frame. Also you need to remember, we have the hash bond ribbons calling a buy signal a couple of days ago. You can see that here, this was calling a bottom, a buy signal here on the August 22, we were around $19,000 at that moment. I did a video that you can check here why this hash ribbon is important. This is important if you see the VLX on the daily time frame. You can see that each time that we have that buy signal, we actually rally not less than the 40% on the crypto market. That doesn't mean that in the next week we could go lower. Actually, that happened already. After the buy signal, we were lower. But in that video, you can check exactly why this indication is super important to consider. And I also trade buys on that indicator. So this call a buy signal at 19,500. We only have a couple during each year. So right now it's very important to consider that. The TD sequential also is starting to call a bullish trend. You can see here we print a one already today with this big bullish candle. We were bearish here. We turned a little bit on bullish net, but again from one to five, we were bearish. The most exactly times to use this is if we are like in a nine on a bearish trend and we print the one, that really usually means a reverse trend. But again, this is a one, so we could have like one or two candles more, even if we go lower after that. So TD Sequential is marking some bullish momentum right now. The alligator, this is a fantastic indicator. These are the three lines that you can see there, green, red, and blue. Right now, when the blue one is above, you can see we are in a bearish trend. With this candle of today, we are starting slightly bullish here, but still it's early to call it bullish. So the alligator is still bearish on the indicator on the daily time frame. One important thing, guys, we have a RSI bullish diversions. I didn't hear any YouTuber right now calling that bullish diversions, but you can see the bullish diversions on the RSI here on the daily time frame. And that could explain this very big green candle also. You can see that we were at $19,000 here and the price went below at $18,600. But the RSI did the opposite. The RSI it was lower here at 29 
and went to 30 something. Even if it's a little bit of uptrend, you can see that this is lower than this one. So the RSI is marking the opposite of the price action and that is called divergence. In this case, bullish divergence in the RSI. You could find it in the MACD, you can find it in the stochastic RSI, but in the RSI itself it's actually really important. So we could have a little of uptrend here. My expectation guys is this level, if we get support about this level, I actually am going to be really really happy of Bitcoin. This means that we need to have support about 21, 4 and 500 dollars. Holding support here for me is really bullish on the daily time frame. Because you can see right now all the resistance here, it was support here and then resistance again here before we go low here. If this bullish divergence put Bitcoin above 21, 400 dollars then i think we are going to have some healthy consolidation above that again i don't expect to go to 22 right now because there's a lot of confluence there of resistance but about 21 400 still is bullish at this moment and the gaussian channel on the and the four exponential moving average still are bearish on the daily so to summarize this in the daily we have a big resistance on confluence on the 50 and the 100 moving average at 22k so i am expecting big resistance there also was the lower band of an ascended wedge that we have from a lot of days the brbp resistance at 21500 so that is our next big target and the hash ribbon we have a buy sign signal at 19500 some time ago so that is bullish and we have this RSI bullish divergence that I didn't hear anyone talking about that. So I'm happy to, to see it in the chart because now we have two things that are bearish on the daily, two things that are bullish on the daily. In a more long time frame, I'm still bullish. I'm super bullish on Bitcoin and altcoins right now, guys. I have been dollar cost averaging since June. Since Bitcoin went below $20,000 for the first time, I am dollar costing averaging. Each time that Bitcoin go below $20,000, the altcoins bleed like a 10% or 15% and I buy altcoins. So that is what I have been doing on the last three months. I am very happy with all my holdings. And you can see here how the daily, the weekly and the monthly are for Bitcoin. My big perspective, we are healthy guys. If we don't have another bottom below $70,000, this is just plain consolidation on a bear market. You can focus your time and energy on learn TA and start to dollar cost averaging. You need to be just chill out and prepare and buy your bags of altcoins for the next bull run. This is the time to buy guys. So talking about that, let's see what is the answer for this. Is the bottom already in the crypto space? So let me change this and I will tell you exactly the answer. The answer, we don't know. We don't know if it's the bottom and doesn't matter. If you care that, you need to start learn TA. I did a video if the bottom was already in or not. You can check it here. For my analysis, the bottom is already in, guys. I am not expecting going below $17,000. If I only concentrate in the charts, if I don't care the macroeconomics, I don't care the wars, I don't care anything that is in the news, from the charts I could say, yeah, I see tons of charts telling me that the bottom was already in. Actually, we are lower in a lot of things than the previous bear market. So yeah, from my perspective, the bottom is in, but I don't care about that, guys. My strategy is dollar cost averaging. If we go to $10,000, awesome, I will be able to buy one Bitcoin more easily and altcoins at the cheaper price, but that is not important. Like you can see in all these charts, in all the weekly and monthly, the time frame is perfect. This is a bear market, this is a moment to buy. It will not matter in 2025, in the next bull run, if you bought Bitcoin at 19, at 12 or $17,000, it will be not matter for you. The same with the altcoins. Doesn't matter if you bought ADA at 50 cents or if you buy it at 35 cents, if ADA gets to get to $10, I don't know. And guys, of course, this is not financial advice. This is only my opinion and put your comments below what do you think about this technical analysis video let me know if you like it if you want me to mo do more analysis like this maybe once per week it will be enough 
You don't need to start analyzing charts all the time. That is also no needed, at least that you are trading, daily trading or scalping. That In that case, yes. But you don't use all these indicators for a slower time frame. You use another ones, a combination of other indicators. So these indicators are good for these big time frames. Guys, that is all for the video. Remember to follow me at Crypto C State in Twitter. Put your comments below. What do you think about this TI? What are your expectations? Any comment is welcome here. Even if you don't like it, the TA, put it in the comment section. I want to learn what I am doing wrong or what do you like to see more? So guys, that is all. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications and I will see you in the next video. Bye.